You guys, this is Beth. Hi. Beth, that's Shani. Shani, that's Beth. Beth. Kari, that's hey, Beth. Kari. Beth. Hey, Beth. Nice to meet you. I'm thinking, oh my God, because my daughters made it clear. No counselors, no therapists. But I decided this is what I want to do because it's the only help we're going to be able to get. Are you like, a, you're a therapist? Yeah, yeah. I'm a family therapist, so are you open for this? You're looking at me like you're not sure. I guess so, I okay. mean. You are, Kari? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Thank you, Kari. I may not like what they say, but I'm not gonna interrupt. I'm gonna hear what they say, and then I'm gonna give my side. I've always felt a little intimidated by my mom. Okay. But just nervous, like jitters and everything. And then with my grandma passing, that mother relationship I had with her, mm -hmm. I'm a, mm -hmm. and I felt like, don't cry. Oh, you know, and I compare that to me and your relationship, and that's where the question comes in, you know. Because I didn't feel like I was good enough. You always been good. You always yeah. been too good. Kari. I didn't you feel hear like me? That. I felt like, okay, Kari, we can work on that. If you felt like you were overlooked, you, you weren't. You've always been my pride and joy. Ever since you was born, you always had everything, everything you can imagine. And I tell you, See, I love that you. Was, that was I the dress problem. You. Like, you were so busy trying to make sure that we had what you didn't have. What good was the roof over our head if you weren't there to tuck us in, if you weren't cooking the meals? That's where we get our relationship with grandma from is because she was the one that was doing those things. And I understand that you were making it happen, but sometimes you just have to put that on hold and say, you know what, being a mom comes first and that's what I have to do. And I'm thinking, oh my God, there was food in the house, heat in the house, grandma's down the hall. That sounds like a damn good mother to me. Now, if I didn't hear something a certain way or I didn't jump when you thought I should jump or I didn't cry when you thought I should cry, that doesn't constitute a bad mother. And I don't want to be sitting here listening to some nonsense. I can tell you're angry clearly about something I always with your mom. Been. I think until she acknowledges the things that happened along the course of our childhood, mm -hmm. we're never going to really be able to forgive her for it or to heal from it, you know? Well, first of all, if I was not there to tuck you in, I would apologize. I don't okay, know. Okay, and, and I can accept your apology. Okay, but you know So what? are you going to be genuine from here on I'm out? I'm always genuine. I personally feel like you're not real all the time. Stop calling me ungenuine because that's not fair, Shani. You know but damn well. But if this is how I feel, how is but, it not but fair? But why are you making these lies up? That hurts me. This is the problem. She's willing to apologize, but she's not acknowledging what it is that we're saying to her. For you to feel I'm not genuine is baffling to me. The tears I cry for you, Chantel, and for you, Takari, is real. I don't understand what you're asking so me you to do. So you don't feel like at times you're fake? No. You don't. I feel like at times I rest my case because we're not gonna get anywhere. Listen. I feel one way, you feel different. Okay, so now let me tell you this. Like, that. I don't want no more the negativity. That was the final blow. I'm not gonna sit here and be victim for you. If you love me as your mother, then I suggest we start showing each other that now. I don't know how to be more clear than that. I'm not gonna say it in a way that somebody else could sit there and say, hmm, she said it just right for me. I'm not interested in that because I don't give a f to be honest with you. I want your heart to feel it and her heart to feel it. And if it doesn't, then we got a problem. And I feel like I can take responsibility for anything that I've done. I don't clearly know what it is and I'm not interested in sitting here trying to pick through it. This would probably be better for you to know now. I will never get over it. It cannot be taken back.